Right, hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So as you can see today we've got the 2022 Fire Alarm Collection video. So it's quite a lot here, so I think I'll start with cool points because they're just here. So we'll start off with CQR. Um, this hasn't actually been on the channel yet. Um, they've all got resettable elements, kind of, so I can press this one. It sort of goes down like that and then you get a little uh, yellow line thing. Um, I'll also, in this video, I'll show like all the testing methods or whatever on these. Quite weird to reset, they have to like put this key in the bottom to like test this one. If it had glass in it, you just it will still you, it will still test with a resettable element. You just sort of put this piece into the did I say piece? piece into this bit and then it just activates as you can see, and then you just reset it as usual. So, yeah, they're quite nice, cool points. These oh, I haven't had this one on the system yet, but should be the new test so we'll put that back there next KAC you've all seen these you'll know what they are press it and that's about it again I will show how to test these just if you're in some nowhere world where you haven't seen these before you just put the key in the bottom and then it spins down oh, the cycle has fallen down um, next we've got the ESP this has been on the channel before you've all seen this one uh, it's quite a nice it's quite nice to press and it has an LED in the corner which is quite nice for a conventional cool point and then to test it you push the key up which is quite hard to do actually but and you can see the element moves up and then the LED will come on you can hear the switch as well so that's the ESP then we've got the cycle which I've just got this you will have seen it on one of my recent videos I don't have a test key for this but our, our screwdriver works so um, really nice presses. They're not too hard, but they're still hard enough to take a little whack. So to reset it, I just put the screwdriver where the key would go and twist it. And as you can see, I'll press it again. These don't have a method of testing, you just have to press it and reset it to test it. You can't put glass in these either, you can only put... That's constantly um, resettable, I think. Those two can have glass or resettable and this is just resettable um, so now we've done the cool points we will move on to the sounders so right up here on top of the CQR box which just has um, the bat box and the screws I think um, this is a Cranford Controls um, Vantage sounder this one's rebranded by Firestay but it's still you know a Cranford Controls Vantage and they're really nice sounds, these 32 tone. I like the fast sweep on this, it sounds like the Tyco system we've got at school. Um, proper nice sound as these, I'd recommend getting one. This is the deep bass version, but you can get one that has a really shallow bass. But deep bass is easier to fit the cables in. Um, put that back up there. Then, yeah, I might stay there. Then, just here, just move this PIR out of the way. Um, we've got a bedland. This is four tones. Um, it's quite an old sounder. Um, this was in the New Year's sound of, and it was proper loud, as you know. So, four tones. There's the back. Um, the bass is on the very stripped looking board, because I even took the panel off just for the fun now. So, as you can see, it was all really there. There's that and some back boxes and stuff. But yeah, this is this. It does have a base, but as I said, it's on the border. Um, really nice sounders. Not to be confused with a um, banshee. But yeah, proper nice sounders. Just put that back there. And then, oh yeah, a 9 volt. Um, fire alarm collector's best friend. I think everyone pretty much has one. Um, oh, and we've got one more sounder. Nearly missed it. And this is a squash knee, it's pretty boring. Um, my first sounder I've got, it's a platform sounder, so you put a detector on it. It doesn't have a built in base though, so like the base, you screw the base on. Onto there. It's only two tone, continuous and sweet, but it's an alright sounder. Not really anything wrong with it, so put it back there. It's basically just a flat rosh knee that only has two tones. Um, now I think we're going to move on 
Oh wait, no, we've still got detectors. Yeah. So this is a um, twin flex Rafiki detector rebranded by Citadel. Um, it's got an addressable base on it, but it, the actual I can get it out. Yeah, oh, these are pretty cheapy detectors, but it's got an addressable base on it, as you can see. That's obviously addressable, but it's still technically conventional, even on the somewhat addressable ones. It's twin flex is weird. Um, you can see it says Ficon there, but then it says Rafiki there, so it's it's yeah. But this part is conventional, so it's all fine. But the sound doesn't work because it's not a Rafiki panel; it's just a JSB four zone conventional. But we'll get to that. So that bit goes in, and then this weird our thing goes on here. Um, they're quite hard to get to activate these ones actually, but they work. Um, next, we'll do panels. Um, I'm not going to take all this off the panel, but this is a JSB FX2204, as you can clearly see. Just behind this KAC call point, you can see the JSB logo. Um, I would like to get a JSB branded detector or just one of those JSB detectors just to go with a panel. Um, I will actually take the front cover off and show you inside because I think I can get away with not taking the stuff off the top. So I'll show you inside. Okay, so I've got the panel open. I didn't have to take the device off the top. It's got four zones. There's the relay outputs. There are two sound circuits. That's um, the exit P, um, from the power supply. That's class change. So I can just, if I short those out, it will put this, go, make the sounds go off. There are my zones. Just so there. There's two AOLs. The, EOLs. The other two are sitting on the board from where the detector was and where the one of the cool points was. Um, quite a basic panel. There's the mains in. There's the power supply. And if I pop this open, oh, nearly knocked everything off. Then I can actually put the battery on just to. It will come out of about two billion volts because there's missing EOLs, missing sound circuit resistors. Yeah, as you can see, a lot of a lot of issues but yeah once it's all put back together on the board it should be faultless but um that's it for panels so i'll just put the lid back on and put the cool points back on the front okay so that's the front of the panel put back on um so we'll move on to burglar alarm bits now this is a detect this detection systems pr it's wireless so i'll show you inside i you just put a screwdriver in the bottom that opens um it does have tamper on it to stop people from you know tampering with it um obviously those batteries are dead i don't really plan on using this it's more just to sit in my collection because you know um i think that's like the little aerial thing it's soldered onto the whatever Um there's the tamp switch on the bottom to you know stop burglars or whatever so let's put the lid back on these sort of little hook bits like go in there and then it clips on it's quite dirty it's, it's like in the corner of a really dirty basement as you can see it says like basement on it because it was at my dad's but he ripped it out from the old burglar alarm system i might get a few more of these once the rest of the house gets done up because there's a few of them dotted around um then we'll move on to this cheapo keypad thing if you can class this burglar alarm it's missing one battery so i can't set it off but it's a bit early in one so i probably won't do that um it's just you know one of those cheapo keypad things you got off amazon i the door contact came off so it sort of just sits there like the PIR until I get a proper burglar alarm planner and proper devices but I'm not too desperate for that I prefer fire alarms over burglar alarms and then we will move on to stuff down there right welcome to the corner of sort of random fire alarm right bits this is a broken KSC cool point cover that's a resettable element for KSC but I don't need it that's a bit of glass, a bit of CQR glass. There's the manual for the ESP, I don't know why I've still got that. There's the door contact that came off, and there's a couple of bat boxes and a little bit of 1.5mm teeny. Um, that's it for this little area of sort of random bits that are sort of related to alarms. So I'll put all this back. And um, yeah, so that was Fire Alarm Collection 2022. Thank you for watching and goodbye.